I just finished recovery of this SSD right here. And you know what I used? These tweezers. Let me explain. This SSD right here, this is a crucial 120 gig SSD. So the problem with this drive is plug it in, it goes busy. And if you plug it into a Windows or a Linux machine, on a Windows machine, it doesn't really tell you much. It's just one detected. And on Linux, you can see in the logs, if you do uh, tail the log, you can see that it ATA is, is timing out trying to uh, access this drive. So what can we do? Well, these tweezers, these tweezers right here will actually help me into getting into this drive. The job is quite simple, but it's not always that simple. If you watch my video from last week, I'm going to link it above here if you haven't seen it. Uh, I had an SSD, which is actually still running to this day, um, that I've been recovering. But that drive didn't go busy. That drive had a different symptom. The symptom was uh, basically the controller was having an issue or I guess the, the memory cells have worn out on the, uh, on the drive itself. And we're causing the controller to manufacture, I think. I'm not exactly sure what's happening with that SSD, but all I know is that I was able to recover it. It's still going. It's actually at 80. I'm looking at right now. It's 85 gigs out of 130. So we're pretty much near the end. You should definitely watch the other video. So getting back to this SSD. Tweezers is a simple trick. Putting the drive in a techno technological mode or techno mode, as it's known in the, in the field. And that, that mode actually kind of gives you opportunity to access the firmware ram and the rom and upload um, a loader that will gain access to the drive we're going to go into my computer in a minute i'm going to show you how i did it all i can say is we are lucky with this drive we're not always this lucky but we're lucky in this case if i go any further make sure you comment on this video it really helps the channel it does it only takes you two seconds just drop a comment say something nice or whatever you want uh, and also hit a like and if you haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel i'm gonna have more content like this and forensics and other ones planned for the rest of the year still trying to stick to one video a week not sure if i'm gonna do it next year because i am pretty busy so it's kind of hard to fit video each week but I'm, I'm i'm sticking to it for now and i'm and i set a goal last year that i'm this year i'm gonna make a video every single week and so far it's september i haven't missed a week i think that's pretty good anyway enough with the talking let's get to this ssd and the whole tweezer situation how i recover data using these tweezers from this ssd Uh, with my PC3000, uh, the drive is plugged in. You can see it right here. The tweezers are, well, they were in, they just fell out. So let's put them in. So the tweezers are in, <clears throat> and now uh, we're gonna hit power. So the drive becomes ready. And then if I were to remove the tweezers and repower the drive, you can see the drive goes into a busy state. So we can't do nothing when the drive is in, uh, in the busy state. We can't upload anything, we can't read the data. You just we will just not get access to the, to the data. So what I'm doing with tweezers, I'm actually putting the drive into a technological mode or a factory mode, and that gives us access to the, the drive itself. So we're gonna hit power. You can see the drive is now ready. So we can hit auto, it's crucial. Yeah, silicon motion controller, the models. Just because I shortened the, the pins and then the, the drive is in firmware in a factory mode, it doesn't actually mean we're gonna get access to the data because as you can see, uh, the drive is showing one gigabyte of storage, which isn't the true size. The actual size of the drive is, as far as I know, is 120 gig or 120 gig. If we're seeing one gigabyte, that means we were able to get into uh, the factory mode or the techno mode, but we didn't get access to the data itself yet. First thing to do is uh, we're gonna we're gonna push a loader into the uh, into the drive. So we're gonna hit yes. That's gonna do what it needs to do, and now it's gonna give me this screen. So there's a bunch of different uh, loaders we can try. So it's a trial and error. When I first uh, was playing around with this, when we first got the SSD SSD version of PC3000, I wasn't sure which one to use because uh, I, I thought maybe if I choose the wrong one, it's gonna cause a problem with the drive, but. Uh, as I learned very quickly from, uh, from some people I spoke to, it doesn't matter which one you choose, it's not going to mess with the drive. Uh, you just have to try, try a bunch of different ones until you get, uh, get the right one for the particular drive. So in this, this particular case, this drive is supported in PC3000, so we're going to choose, I know this is the one I used last time. You're going to hit yes, and that's going to upload the, um, 
the loader into the, the drive and we're gonna get just a little bit closer into unlocking the drive so as we can see now as it's uploading the capacity has changed to 117 gigs which is what it's supposed to be so this is almost done and once this is done uh we can move on to the data extractor module and pc2000 which will give, a, give us ability to I actually read the file structure and recover the data. If you watched my last video about the SSDs, you saw the SSD do take a lot of time to recover and some are not recoverable. To recover data from SSD is a lot of time is luck. As long as the, the particular driver is supported in P3000 and, and you have the, the tools and the loaders there, then you're obviously going to be able to uh, unlock the drive and, and get access to the information. Let's just give it a minute to finish. Uh, doing what it needs to do and then I'm going to show you the next step what needs to be done and as you can see the driver still has the uh, tweezers in the port I don't want the tweezers to fall out but there's a drive here and not every drive is this easy uh, a lot of times you also have to do a bunch of other things and it's it's it really varies drive to drive from manufacturer to manufacturer from controller to controller uh, we're done here uh, we're gonna minimize this we don't want to close this because we need access to this uh, utility and now we're going to go over to uh, data extractor we're going to create a new case and you can see here now it's asking for different reading parameters we're going to leave everything for default for now unless we have a problem so we're going to leave everything default let me just check everything you can change a few things here but let's just leave it as is uh we're not gonna make any changes for now if we have some problems with the drive then we're going to go back and uh reconfigure so we call this uh 120 gigabytes i can't spell but crucial here it is silicon motion we're gonna go next uh make that a copy because we want to copy the data off this drive next um here we can choose destination so i'm gonna go into file image obviously if you have a different destination drive you're gonna choose a different destination drive so uh the options here are for different controllers so let's choose the first one here so what it's doing right now is rebuilding the translator the translator needs to be rebuilt because it's probably damaged so we'll just wait for it to finish sometimes it's quick sometimes it's slow sometimes it doesn't work i've seen this go for hours sometimes and it's if it's taking that long and you see a lot of error messages then you're probably not going to be able to get uh, access to the information on the drive but you know in this case this case has already been done i'm just kind of uh doing it again just for the video so you can see how uh someone will go about recovering data from an ssd if they do have a model that's supported the unfortunate fact is there's way more unsupported drives versus supported drives it's just the nature of the things every every controller is different every drive is different unfortunately that's how it is so let's just give it a minute to finish and then i'm going to show you what else needs to be done we'll get access to the data so the translator rebuilt and now we have it uh, here we can see um in p3000 data extractor so from this point uh, you know you have to see which 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 way is going to be the best for this particular drive because not, not every drive is going to read quick as you saw my other video from last week that drive actually it's still reading we only we were about halfway and i think it's going to go to end of next week um but that's how things go unfortunately if you haven't watched the video i'm going to link it above what you should watch it um so like i said that drive is still going it's still imaging there so as we are here in pc3000 uh data extractor we can we can like, we can hit image we can just image the entire drive and uh, get that over with or we can just see if we can get a file structure so um as you can see it's it's responding quite quickly it's not giving us any problems this is the uh, efi partition and this is the uh the, the data partition uh where the user files are you can see it's a little bit slow but it seems to be okay all green which is good no issues and here are the user files so from here we can save the files you can build your map whatever works for this case if you just want to save a few user files uh, this client actually just wanted five files off a desktop that's all they wanted and that's all we gave them but um we can we can just uh, test how fast imaging is so if i want to image the entire drive let's go execute here as you can see it's going at um let's see the speeds here yeah see this is the problem so the drive is even though it's running it, it is in this weird mode the technological mode the speed is not the greatest it's only going at 2.3 megs a second and it's imaging to an ssd uh that's a very fast ssd so that's how it goes so at this speed you're looking at uh i don't know 15 hours give or take but i'll stop this because we, we already did this job there's no point doing it again uh so that's gonna be it for this video we're able to recover the data from this from this case because the drive was supported like i said earlier 
And I think without a tool like Easy Thousand, we wouldn't be able to do it. No, unless you go in the tech mode and do all these things I showed you, then there's, there's no other way to get into it that I know of. I mean, maybe someone has some other solution, but I don't know it. I just know this way. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave me a comment. It definitely helps the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.